With many players flocking to New Babbage for the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo, it's a great opportunity to spend some time to look around the city. And what a city! Set on the shores of an ice lake, New Babbage on Microtech is an incredibly detailed location to go out and visit. The purpose of this video is to try and capture some of the beauty of this place, whilst hopefully giving you a little inspiration to get out and explore in the game. I'm Farrister, and my channel is all about sharing videos like this, so if you're interested in following for this kind of Star Citizen content, you might consider subscribing to the channel. Getting to New Babbage is fairly easy, by following the quantum travel point on Microtech in the Stanton system. Most players will land at the New Babbage Interstellar Spaceport, in which case it's a short tram journey to get to the Commons. The weather outside is a little on the frosty side, so if you plan on venturing out then dress up warm, but inside is just fine, and Microtech is full of oxygenated air, so you can even dress in your comfy clothes if you like. For most players coming up from the tram, you'll emerge into the Commons. You'll find the central feature of a yoga square with AI jogging around the outside. And surrounding the yoga pit on each corner are various establishments. Firstly, there's a gym, which seems to be purely decorative in function. The other three shops all sell refreshments of different flavours. There's Twins Sandwiches, which as you might have guessed feels a little like a sandwich shop. Then there's Elroy's, which is like a kind of futuristic coffee bistro. And finally there's Garcia's Greens, which offers food for the eco-conscious consumer. On one side of the commons, marked by recreational climbing wall, is the surface garage, which lets you spawn ground vehicles and go out on the lake. Here is where you'll also find the Skybridge Promenade, which leads to Wally's. On the opposite side, the commons leads to the Plaza, which is where the upmarket shops of New Babbage reside. Feel free to stop and ask Anna to tell you a joke on the way. Here's a funny joke. What do you call a mobile risk computational unit that is completely made out of helium? Moby gas. The plaza, in true New Babbage style, makes a feature of the huge glass dome it sits within. Almost any time of day you can look up and be inspired by the vista before you. Within the plaza there are a few different places to visit. Aside from the entrance, each of the three other sides has a theme of one of the moons of Microtech, which is made clear by a hologram of each moon outside some of the shops, as well as themed lounges for Calliope, Clio and Utopy. For many players, they'll head to the TDD, or Trade and Development Division, in order to buy and sell cargo. And then there's Centermass, which sells personal and ship weapons, with the whole shop having a premium, almost Hurston Business District type feel to it. On the opposite side, you'll find Omega Pro, which sells various pieces of ship equipment, and has a really unusual red-gold theme to it, which is fairly unique for Star Citizen. Then there are lots of smaller places around the plaza. For example, the FTL Courier Delivery Service, where you'll find some box delivery lockers, or the Shubin Lounge and Console, where you can buy industrial type clothes. But the main feature is right in the centre, and fittingly for Microtech, they've got their flagship Factory Line store in pride of place. From here you can look up to enjoy the sky, or head down into the store below the main level. The store makes great use of glass to give that open feeling, and on this level you might be forgiven for thinking you're in an Apple store, as it really has that kind of vibe to it. As a player, you can purchase all manner of different coloured Moby glass casings. If you deign to go down one more level, you reach the amphitheatre, which is currently used as an additional sales space for some of the more high-ticket items but worth a visit if you're in town. Hopefully you might find that some of the other Location Spotlight videos on this channel are also worth a visit. If you've enjoyed this video, you might press that like button, and consider subscribing so you can know every time a new video goes live. 
If you have some suggestions for places to showcase, I'd love to hear about them in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.